Hey, what's up, garden friends? Toby, say hi. How you doing, Tobes? And Tucker, you good boy. Okay, Tucker. So, you ever just have those situations where everything with your technology and things are just breaking left and right? Well, uh, I'm having that right now. Also, just like throwing it out there, my computer's broken, so I can't edit this video. So I figured what I'm gonna do is we can just like walk around and talk a little bit, kind of like a challenging thing here where I'm just gonna have to hope that everything comes out okay. So the camera here has a pause button on it, but it like has a delay, sometimes cuts things off. So this is, it's not gonna be the most fun professional video. Not, that's not what's happening here. I mean, okay, it might be fun, but the professional clean part, that I'm not so sure about. I've had these yuccas sitting over there in the part sun for a couple of weeks. I think it's okay to go ahead and move them over here into the sun. They should be okay with it by now. There we go. There's the second one. So, I have spent the entire week on and off the phone with Dell. Hello from my shadow. Great lighting, right? Yeah, been on and off the phone with them trying to get my laptop fixed. I did some updates Saturday morning this last weekend right before that vlog came out and my audio just stopped working so that makes editing videos a challenge. Been doing all kinds of things, nothing seems to be working, they have like a team of tech people working together to try and figure it out. I'm thinking come middle next week I may just end up sending the computer back and having them exchange it. I haven't had it very long and I need it so hopefully they'll do that for me. But yeah, that's why things are kind of wonky here. Look at how nicely these are coming about. Doing really well. The temperatures have been really up and down. It's been like 80 degrees some days, and right now it's probably 45 or so. That's perfect for something like this with the pansies and the lettuce and everything. They seem to be doing well. This expert potting soil that I like kind of reviewed in the last video, I'm still liking it. But when I got online, man, there are some bad reviews. Really bad reviews. I try to not, like, you always gotta take reviews with a grain of salt because a lot of the times when people go on to review something that's they're dissatisfied, not a lot of people take the time out to talk about how wonderful something is. It does seem to be holding moisture really well. Maybe a little bit too well. Um, we will see with the temperatures being up and down like they have been, look at that shadow, it's ridiculous. With the temperatures being as up and down as they have been, it's kind of hard to say what's going on there. I've only watered it once and it's still moist, but we also had storms yesterday. So I've been out here this morning kind of picking things up. Plants have been flipped over and whatnot, trying to get them cleaned up, put back up, and clean up branches and all those things. I also need to move these snapdragons. Look how sad they are. They weren't getting enough sun. So I'm going to move them back over here with the rest of the plants that are getting a lot of sun. This time of year, I have to kind of keep things sort of in a space together so that I can it's just easier to water everything that way because I don't have all of my water hooked back up outside so they're all together I have you know the full sun and then I kind of bring it down this way everything seems to be doing well it's just a few hours of morning light then it's filtered throughout the rest of the day but like this a steel bait this I picked up in the vlog I guess it was last week and I don't think I showed that I actually got it but that's what that is maybe it was in the cart I can't remember over here, this is a pyracanth from last year that I was waiting to pot up this year. It still has some green inside of it and some flex to it, so I think it's okay. I'm just waiting to see if it's going to re-sprout before I decide what to do with it. We've got some nice vines sprouting out here. This is a variegated Virginia creeper that I picked up on clearance last year. I mean, $59.90. It's a ridiculous regular price for this guy. But it's doing really well considering that it stayed potted. My potted plants in the winter, I put them up against the wall my hot tub. I keep them fairly sheltered and the, they seem to do okay with that. They just get occasional waterings, but it got down to minus 13 degrees twice. So I'm surprised how well that did. Oh, and also the computer problems, the technical difficulties, that's why there wasn't a Fern Friday this week. So sorry about that. Add one filmed, I just couldn't edit it without audio. And they had me do a system recovery, so like reset it to a previous date, which seemed like that should help, but instead it made it so that my graphics card stopped working too. So as of yesterday, I have no video or audio in my editing program. Very frustrating, but that's, that's why there's no Fern Friday. And I mean, if videos are kind of slow for the next week, that's also what's going on there. But here's a look at some ferns. These are just the autumn ferns, Dryopteris. Let me come in here, find the tag. 
the autumn ferns. Like, okay, I need to be careful. I can't edit this. <laughs> Keeping things extremely casual this week. But there's that. It's the autumn fern. I've noticed that these do really well here where we have hot, humid summers and really cold, semi-wet winters. They seem to do better than a lot of other ferns, for me at least. They do okay with a good amount of light in the morning as long as it's filtered throughout the rest of the day, which is typical of most ferns. But they just don't fry like the other ferns do in the full, intense heat of the summer. This lighting's terrible. Could we get some clouds, please? I'm trying to make a video here. Okay, here's some ferns that are in the shade, or I mean morning shade. These are my ostrich ferns. They are going crazy. I love ostrich ferns. There's not much to say about them or show with them right now because they're not doing so much, but lots of them are coming up every year. The number multiplies. This spot gets afternoon sun, which is not ideal for ferns. The ostrich ferns, when the temperatures are cooler, they seem to do okay with it. They seem to like really almost enjoy more light than a lot of other ferns do. At least that's been my experience. I love ferns. I love how, <laughs> how they unfurl. Like, look at how thick this guy is in here. This one's really big. That's probably one of the older pieces. But yeah, like I said, if you have a spot that is more sunny, preferably morning sun, not afternoon sun. My voice just cracked. Can't edit that out. So just, <laughs> hello, adult puberty. How you doing? Yeah, this might be a good fern if you have a spot that gets morning sun, you have cooler temperatures. Like up north, like Michigan, places like that, I bet these would be beautiful. These will fill in completely over time. If my soil was a little bit more loose, these probably would have spread even further. But originally, these were just a few tubers I just threw in the ground. They were like in a bag from Walmart. So they're not like a special variety. They're not like that. There's a variety called the King, I think, that gets pretty big. I don't know if it does that in all climates, but I've wanted to get those and try them out. I just haven't really found any for sale at a decent price. But yeah, ostrich ferns. Trying to make up for the lack of Fern Friday. So there's there's fern stuff. You want to see the fern that I was going to do for Fern Friday? For uh, hopefully next week if the computer gets fixed? I hope so. That's what we're doing next. Okay, it's morning, and <laughs> every morning I let the animals out, I mean the dogs, outside, and then it's cookie party time, and the cats have picked up on that, so I'm going to do that really quick. Yep, they are ready to go. So the dogs get their day sequin advance. Right now they get two at a time for their starting period. Oh, you almost had both of them, Tuck. Toby is much more gentle. Yeah, good boy, Toby. Toby is eight. Toby. There you go, Tucker's 11. And Tucker also is on the adequin for his arthritis, which seems to be working really, really well. You good boy. And then the cats, I initially got the Desequin advance for the old man, for Charlie over here. Say hi, Charlie. You're not gonna focus? Camera doesn't like to focus today. That's great when you can't edit a video. Uh, the Desequin advance for him, but he doesn't like them, which is no surprise. Cats can be really particular about their medication. So he gets temptations that are sprinkled with the Desequin powder. What, Charlie, where'd you go? Yeah, don't you want your, your morning cookies? And then uh, then Pumpkin gets the Desequin advance. You gonna go get it, Pumpkin? Get it? She prefers to have her treats thrown to her. Tucker, that's not for you. You're not a kitty. You know better. Don't do it. Yeah, good boy. That was a bad throw, so don't judge me on that. Usually I toss them. I think it's fun. They get a little bit of a workout going while they get their treats. Don't worry. I didn't forget about showing you the fern. I just got sidetracked because I came in the house and the animals are being demanding. As always, that is my life. All right. Pumpkin? Pumpkin? We get it. There you go. Good girl. So here's the fern that was supposed to be in the Fern Friday. It's labeled as an Elkhorn fern, but it's a polypodium polycarpin. I don't know if that's synonymous, if polypodiums are synonymous with platyceriums, but I thought platyceriums were the Elkhorn ferns and polypodiums were more related to like a microsorum. Or actually, I think microsorum punctatum is synonymous with polypodium polycarpum. This is not, I shouldn't be saying these words when I can't edit. I'm, this is very risky. But yeah, well, that'll hopefully be in next week's video. Hopefully the computer will be working and we'll be talking about that one a little bit. Isn't it pretty, though? It's a really cool looking fern. I actually haven't fed the fish yet, haven't been out here yet, so they're kind of hungry. Everybody's doing well out here. Nothing to report. No news is good news. I do think, I think I might need to change that grow light. Something's not going right there, huh? What's going on? What's your problem? 
What? Why are you trying to give me a headache? That didn't pause like it was supposed to, so that's gonna look great. The Thai Constellation popped open a new leaf. It's not looking fantastic. I was actually talking to someone on Instagram about these guys. Whenever I've repotted my Monstera, the, just this one, it always, the first time it puts out a new leaf, it's kind of like, bleh. It just, just doesn't want to put forth the effort. I don't know if that has something to do with the leaf developing during the time of the change when I'm doing the repot, but it does always seem, whenever I've repotted this one, that that first leaf just kind of, bleh. Not always the prettiest leaf, but the ones that follow usually look just fine. And this one doesn't look terrible. It's just a little bit chewed up because been battling the stink bugs and the white flies, which is getting much better. This hibiscus back here, also, that was... I had a whole vlog filmed for this week, but I can't edit it, so I talked about what's going on back here with that hibiscus. I think I over-treated it. I got a little bit overzealous with the spraying for the bugs, so it'll be all right, though. I'll give it a good cut back, and it'll be outside in a couple weeks, and it'll bounce right back, and it does... It even has... I don't know how you'll be able to see that on camera, but it does have small little leaves starting to come back out, so... I'm not too worried about it. It's not like a special hibiscus either. It's just, it's a seminal pink, but it's that, that was my fault. I did that. I'm sorry. Okay, so that, oh, you stopped. Look at that. I was getting ready to say that was driving me crazy because it was still blinking. It's been doing that for a little while, but it normally stops after like a couple seconds. These LEDs, they have their own like internal ballast starters or whatever. I don't know if, I don't think LEDs actually have a starter, but whatever, it's something wrong with the wiring. I just have to switch that out. But since it's almost time to move these guys out, just a couple of weeks, I'm probably not going to bother with that right now. I'll wait until all the plants are out. It'll be a lot easier to get up to that light bulb. And I'll change that out next fall for next year. Next year when I move the plants in, that's when I'll do that. I don't think I need to worry about that right now. Look at this Nepenthes. It is leaning. I need to put a support in here, pull that back up. It needs to go up something. I might even, actually, when I repot that, I might put it onto a pole on some type of support and let it climb up it. I think that might look kind of cool. It's going to make it harder in the winter time when I bring it in to find a good place for it. But I think that would be neat, because they'll climb. It'll look really neat. Oh, and then a last update here. The mealybugs are, it's much better. I've been spraying about every other day with a neem and then I have just been going through and wiping those leaves probably twice a week and it's helping a lot. It's still a problem. I'm still going to have to go through some pretty drastic measures to solve this in the spring. Well, it's spring when I move these outside, but for now it's gotten much better. I'm not really worried about them dying anymore. This frond up here, there was a spear coming out and there were so many mealybugs, they ate it from the inside and it pulled out, which is really risky that can kill a palm very quickly but i poured fungicide in there it has a new one coming out so that's great it's not dying it's gonna be all right i'm really relieved about that relieved about that relieved that's relieved i've been talking too much okay that's it. how many random things can i squeeze into like a 10 to 15 minute video no problems there i can talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and it doesn't even have to go together that's just the way my brain works when i've had my caffeine and i'm just letting loose so I'm going to stop now, though, because I have a feeling it's all just going to go downhill at this point. So I hope everybody's doing well. Hopefully by next week or the week after, things will get back into being more clean and tidy with the videos. The vlogs are always kind of eh because I try and keep them casual there for fun. It's just a chance to connect with everybody, take everybody along with me while I'm doing some things outside. But, you know, the videos during the week... I like for those to be more professional or just like clean. Does that make sense? I don't know. Probably not. Anyways, hope everybody's doing well. My social media is linked down below. You can follow me. I'll follow you back. I don't, I, can I do the pop-ups? Well, I guess we'll find out when this video is out. Um, but yeah, like I said, follow me. I'll follow you back. I use Instagram more than anything else. I love chatting with everybody on there. It's a lot of fun. And uh, if you want to, if you're feeling generous, you can give the video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Helps the videos a lot and subscribe as well. The videos are not always like this. And hit that notification bell. I do upload multiple times a week when my computer is working, which is most of the time. Just right, not right now, not right now. But otherwise, things are consistent, normally. All right, time to shut up. I keep focusing on this in Thyrum because I'm like kind of using my phone here, my camera to see if there's any new buds coming up. It doesn't look like it. It just 
did uh, just open this one up, which is nice. But that's not that's neither here nor there. Hope everybody's doing well. The life's just great. You're having a great day, a great weekend, or whenever you're watching this, the life's just fantastic. And as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.